Hi, this is Ken, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a brush that looks like uh, smoke. So we're going to call it like vector smoke. So the first thing you need to do is uh, get rid of that fill, and uh, black is fine for that stroke. And you can use both the pen tool or the paintbrush tool to make it. I'm going to use the paintbrush tool right now. Um, so what you want to do is just create some lines. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, you can create you know, anything that you want as long as they're close by right here at the bottom. And um, you can make anywhere between three to four lines. I'm going to stick with three right now. Okay. So the next thing is that we want to make sure that we change the width of that stroke. So clicking on the stroke uh, panel right here, it's, it's set at one point right now. So I'm going to use 0 0.01. And then that's going to make it very thin. The next thing that you need to do is uh, basically blend these lines right here. So we are going to put extra lines in between these points right there. So what you want to do there is go to object and then blend and then blend options right here you have three choices smooth color specified steps and a specified distance playing around uh, earlier I found that 15 at least for this document size uh, works fine so I click OK and then to create that blend you can go to the object menu again and blend oops and then just click on make or you can do the uh, shortcut of control alt and B I'm going to zoom in so you can see what that looks like so now you have extra lines in between those three main ones that we made okay the next thing that you want to do is uh, rotate those lines and then uh, you want to go to your brush panel uh, these are all the default brushes that came with, you know, Illustrator. I'm going to delete those for now, for now, so you can see what I'm doing. Just drag and drop those lines in there. Uh, right here, Illustrator is going to give you three choices: scatter brush, art brush, or a pattern brush. I'm going to select the art brush and click OK. Most of these options, uh, you are going to leave them as is. The only thing that you are going to change is the colorization method. And for that one, you need to select tints and click OK. I'm going to explain that in just a second why we did it. Um, so now, what do you? Uh, let me go ahead and put a black background right here so you can see what that looks, the, the smoke brushes look against a black uh, background. Let me see where's my layers. Okay, layers. I'm going to lock that one and then create a new layer right there. So what you need to do is select the paintbrush. And of course, if I paint right now, you can't see anything because the stroke color is black. But I'm going to choose something else. I'm going to go with a light gray, which is uh, usually the the natural color of smoke so that's it you just created that uh, um, stroke right there that looks or resembles uh, smoke a little bit you can make it even better if you uh, from this uh, uh, palette right here you choose this one which is going to thin out the edges top and bottom so another example is like that. Now if you notice the main brush that we created is black but uh, by choosing colorization method um, tints then is going to um, allow you to choose any color that you want from the palette and then your brush will be that color. So you can do anything that you want right there uh, something else that you uh, can try doing is creating several different ones of this. 
and in that way you can randomize the effect a little bit more. Now keep in mind that uh, you're blending lines and then uh, these brushes can be uh, uh, pretty intensive you know uh, for your uh, computer if you're going to be doing a whole bunch of those things uh, of like brush strokes all over your document so keep that in mind when you're playing around now this looks pretty cool as is gives this you know strange effect uh, so I hope that um, this tutorial helped you um, create you know some brushes of your own uh, have fun if you have comments or questions uh, please let me know thank you